Good morning and thanks for joining me today. Today is the fourth Sunday of Easter and so we're still celebrating Easter. Today is also known as Good Shepherd Sunday and so I have a story I'd like to share with you today about Jesus who is our Good Shepherd. Leading like a good shepherd. Jesus was the best kind of leader. He cared about his friends and disciples. He wanted them to feel safe and strong and loved. I am the good shepherd, said Jesus. The disciples were confused. Jesus was a teacher of people, not a shepherd of sheep. Jesus saw the disciples' puzzled faces. What does a good shepherd do? Jesus asked. A good shepherd leads his sheep to food and to water, Andrew said. He protects the sheep from dangerous wolves, John added. He finds lost sheep and brings them back to their flock, says Peter. I do all these things for you, Jesus said. I lead you to the love of God. I protect you from harm. When you lose your way, I find you. I am the good shepherd. The disciples nodded. Jesus cared for them, just like a good shepherd cares for his sheep. Jesus knew each of his disciples very well, like a good shepherd knows the sound and face of each of his sheep. Jesus looked at his disciples with love in his eyes. The best shepherds love their sheep, he said. I am the kind of shepherd who loves you enough to die for you. This is what I have learned from my father. Thanks for listening to my story. So I have a couple questions though. And it says Jesus is like our leader, our good shepherd. So what kind of people do you know that are good leaders? Hmm. I'm thinking maybe parents would be good leaders, your teachers, people in uh, government, our friends are sometimes lead us into good decisions. And also Jesus, Jesus is a great leader. And he teaches us to do all kinds of good things. And sometimes, though, when we feel like we have a wall, a brick wall, this is going to be my brick wall. And our brick wall, sometimes we just, oh, we just butt up against the wall and we just can't seem to find a good way through. And... We think that we have to do all these good things to get through that wall for God to love us. But, hmm, maybe let's go around and try the back way to get through. So we're going to go this way. Oops. And look, wow, there's a hole. It, there's a way through. It's like the gate the gate that Jesus can lead us through. And if we follow Jesus, he'll take us through that gate and find us and help us through that. I have a song for us to sing today. It's called, He's Got the Whole World in His Hands. There's some actions that go along with it, but you can follow along with me. They're pretty easy. He's got the whole world in his hands. 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 He's got the little tiny baby in his hands. He's got the little tiny baby in his hands. He's got the little tiny baby in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got everybody there in his hands. He's got everybody there in his hands. He's got everybody there 
in his hands. He's got the whole world 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 in his hands. Thanks again for joining me today, and I hope you have a great week. Don't forget to join us on Wednesdays for Grow at 5.30. This is for kindergarten through fifth graders, and the link can be found on your church website, or you can contact your pastor for more information. Before we go, let's, let's end with a prayer. You can fold your hands and you can repeat after me. Dear God, we love you. Thank you for being the Good Shepherd. Thank you for leading us through the gate. Amen. Goodbye. See you next week.